In this After Effects video, we're gonna create a universal slide transition. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Now I call this transition universal because you know, when you're applying transitions, this transition works in almost every situation. It's great for, you know, slideshows, promos, or just if you want to have a neat transition between shots. In this video, we're going to create this from scratch and I'm going to show you how. So doesn't need any more explanation. You've seen the transition. Let's create it. All right. To start off the transition, we need to go to layer, new adjustment layer. And then we'll bring in the end point. Let's say we want the transition to roll on for about the half a second on our first clip. So we'll bring that endpoint there. And then what we'll do is we'll bring in an effect called motion tile from the stylized menu. We can just come here and bring it into our adjustment layer. And from here, we're going to increase the output width or height. You increase the output width if you're going to do a transition from left to right, the height from you know up and down. So I'll go ahead and increase the height here you know, to about a thousand. And then from here, what we're gonna do is we're going to bring in the transform effect from the distort menu. And then what we can do is we can add a keyframe for position just like this and we can move forward here past to our next clip and we're going to increase the y position here and now we're going to have multiple slides right here so we can come here and bring it up as many as we want and then when we're done we want to make sure that the slide is right on the new clip like this boom so now you should have this scrolling effect going by just like this and if you want to do left to right, just increase the output width here and then just do the X position on the transform pad and you'll get it from you know left to right as a transition. But as far as this goes, go ahead and turn on the motion blur and turn it off the top and you should have some nice motion blur with this. Hit U on your keyboard to bring up the keyframes and you can select all your keyframes here and hit F9 on your keyboard to make them easy ease keyframes and this will kind of slow things down at the start and have a nice ramp up at the beginning. And now we have a very nice slide transition. So let's say we want to add a little bit of a bounce at the end of this transition. What we can do is just have this come by a, by a little bit here at the last keyframe. And then we'll move forward in time by a few frames and we'll just bring it back down. And then we'll move forward again by a few more frames. We'll bring it back up just by a little bit here, you see. And as you can see, we just have a little bit of, you know, of the next clip coming in. And then we'll finish this off with the last part, bringing it back to where it needs to be. So now we have the bounce in place, but there is a little bit of an issue with these first two keyframes. And you can see just a little bit of an extra wiggle that we cannot control with these basic keyframes. So if you have a little, so if you have any issues with any extra bounce here, you can go to your graph editor right here and you can select both those keyframes, right click them, go to keyframe interpolation and set the spatial interpolation to linear and click okay. And now with motion blur turned back on, we have a very nice smooth transition here for the slide. It looks really nice. So for a little bonus, say if you want to add a little bit of RGB splitting here, what we can do is we can grab everything and we can pre-compose it. So go up to layer pre-compose and we can call it all. And then we'll come here and we'll duplicate this layer, go to effect channel and we're gonna grab shift channels. We'll come here, turn off the green and we'll turn off the blue. We'll duplicate this layer, turn off the red, turn off the, turn on the green, duplicate it turn off the green and we'll turn on the blue. And what we'll do is toggle switch the modes until you see the blend modes. And from here, we'll grab the top two layers, set the blend mode to screen. And I'll say we'll grab our middle layer here, hit P on keyboard for position. And from here, what we'll do is we'll all click the stopwatch for position and we'll type in wiggle, open parenthesis, two comma 20 close parenthesis. And now you get a little bit of nice RGB splitting here. And what we could do is we obviously want to start at a specific time. So we'll grab our first three layers here. We'll bring it the endpoints in and the glitch will start right here and it'll continue until the end here. And we'll hit T on keyboard for opacity and we'll add a keyframe for opacity. We'll move forward and we'll set the opacity down to 0%. So now we have a much you know bigger difference right here with our RGB splitting and it looks really cool. And you can use any of these layers interchangeably. So you don't just don't have to use the middle layer to so go ahead and experiment with that. And you get a nice little RGB effect to your slide transition. And one thing I'll take note of this is when you do RGB splitting, you get these rough edges like this. we will come here to the effects and presets and we'll bring in motion tile from the stylized menu. And we'll come here and we'll increase the output width, and then click on mirror edges and we'll copy motion tile and we'll paste it to the middle layer and the third layer. 
and that gets rid of that hard edge just like that. So now you should have a really boss transition. So this is one transition style out of many different transition styles. If you're looking to save a lot of time and quickly apply a arsenal of transitions to your videos, go ahead and check our links in the video description. The packs you're seeing right now are full transition packs for After Effects and Premiere Pro. And all they are are just drag and drop transitions and you're able to apply these amazing high-end transitions just within a matter of seconds. So if you're interested and wanna learn more, go ahead and check our links in the video description. And boom, there is our slide transition. And now you can use this transition for all of your shots. It's very easy to use. So I hope you learned a few things from this video. And if you did enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel, Son of Film. We post two post-production tutorials every single week right here on our channel. Hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description. And always be creating.